Today, the mission is swapping two big male Komodos. They're incredibly unpredictable and we're pretty nervous. The first thing to do is get Naga boxed up. That's his outdoor enclosure here for Naga. He's going to be on the other side of this door, so it'll just lift straight up. And hopefully, he'll go straight into that box. But both Gilly and Naga, they're, they're dragons. They can do whatever they want to do. So we've got a plan A, but anything like this, you've got to have a plan B, C. You've got to have the whole alphabet ready to go. Oh, yeah, smell it up nicely for him. Ian is taking the lead on getting Naga into the box. And we're actually going to have to do something a little bit risky. We're going to be initiating that food frenzy response in the hope that he'll get straight into that box. Komodo dragons are all about smell. So by rubbing that meat around and putting it back up in there, he's instantly going to come out. He'll start flicking his tongue. He'll start getting really interested. Happy to open? Yep. Naga, come. Naga, come. Ian is calling out to Naga. Um, Naga actually recognises his voice. Oh, here he comes. Hello, dragon. Hello, How you doing, Naga. mate? You are a good-looking boy. Those big, dominant males, they get so buff. Their forearms are ten times bigger than mine. Just pure muscle. This is one of those moves where absolutely anything could happen. Komodos are an incredibly dangerous animal. The largest lizard in the world, razor sharp teeth. So one little wrong move and that'll set him off. Hey, big boy. Hey, big boy. How you doing? Food's in the box, mate. Yeah. You can't get in that way, mate. <laughs> Naga is not having a bar of it. He does not want to go in his transport box. In fact, he really wants nothing to do with it. It's like he just knows that something's up. Come on, Naga. Naga, come. If Naga doesn't go into the box, we can kiss goodbye any hope of baby Komodo dragons. There's not a lot of Komodos here in Australia. He is really the only prime young male that can breed. So if we can't get him in, that's it. We're done. Ian, if you think the camera's spooking... Might be. I think he's sort of... A bit unsure. He's definitely iron. I'm happy to clear out. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, we can all clear if you want. OK. I am actually going to come out as well. I'll Great. just put it in yeah. place. I'll call him a couple of times and I'll just walk out just to... Just in case, because I'm not usually in here when he goes yeah, in. Sure. So it's all no a little bit all. different. Yep. He knows exactly what's up. He knows that there's new people. We've got cameras in here. We've got a lot going on. So he's very, very wary and not inclined to just head straight into the box. So we're trying plan B at this point. We've rigged up a set of cameras that are connected to our phone screen so that we can watch what's going on in the dragon's lair and be on the outside so that we don't spook him. But if this doesn't work, I don't know what plan C is going to be. Might keep sound to a minimal here. Oh, look at him go. Grabbing that first piece of meat. Yep. Sniffing the front of the box. He's in. He's in. 
sorry, mate. Done. <laughs> well done. done. All right. Good work. Okay. You're going on an adventure. Naga is finally in the box. Thank goodness. What an absolute relief. Now, the next step is getting Gilly out of his box. Here we go. Hey, big boy. I'll just back off him a little yeah. bit. Give him a bit of room. How you doing, mate? How you doing? Gilly's out and he's loving it. He just thinks this is home. There goes Gilly. Good boy, mate. Job done. This is perfect. There's no worries at all. And the team down here are awesome. The next step from here is going to be the most nerve-wracking and the one that we really have all been waiting for, and that is going to be introducing Naga and Inda. All right. See you soon, Naga. This next step is going to be very dicey. Komodo breeding season here at Australia Zoo, and today is the big day. We're going to be introducing Inda and Naga. Obviously, we've attempted this with Gilly and we didn't quite have the response that we desired. Now we've got a brand new male, Naga. He's a really big lizard. If we get adverse aggression, if we're really not happy with how it's going, then we'll just have to intervene. Any Komodo dragon introduction is going to be tense, but also the fact that it's Inda. Komodo dragons have the potential to inflict life-threatening wounds in an instant because they actually have venomous properties in their saliva. For all of us, we're incredibly nervous at this point. This is so different to what we were doing with Gilly, a very, very different lizard. He's young, he's fit, he's about the same size as Gilly, but 10 times more hard hitting. This is really, really gonna test both of them, I think. All right, let's get into it. He's a good looking lizard, isn't he? Oh, yeah, he is. Big boy. We have everything ready to go. We've got people situated on the roof, we've got people on hoses, we've got people with shields. The worst case scenario is a bite. Whether that's between Naga and Inda or between Naga and one of us. In the enclosure, Naga is ready to go. Now we're introducing Inda. You have a good guys? Yeah. Here we go. All right, get straight over. I'll come over your way. Hey Inda. Tongue flicking a bit. Good girl. Good girl, darling. I don't think they've seen each other yet. No. Now, at this point, she can go home whenever she wants, but she's deciding on her own terms to stay in here, to suss out this new male, smelling where he's been. She's very interested and very inquisitive, and that's a good sign. It's interesting how just watching how different she is, that little bit of that posture and how she's so upright and she's real just slow, methodical, checking everything out. He's coming out. Sure. Ah, uh, yep. Come, big fella. Come, big boy, go get her. Go get her, mate. Good girl. We want a nice, calm interaction with just enough chase. Girl, Inda, you're all right. You're all right, darling. Go get her, Naga. She's got him for pace. Yeah. Hey, big boy. Yeah, he's he's having a look. Here we go. Yeah, he's thinking about putting on that. That burst, that's great. She started to throw a few hisses out, yeah. didn't she? Yeah. yeah. When Komodo interactions go badly, it's, it's when the female shows any form of aggression yeah. towards the male, and usually they go over the top with that response, yeah. and they can be just devastating results. 
Yeah, they're both pretty amped and pretty excited, but this is actually really good. Inda's kind of instigating that chase. She's staying in front of him and he's very interested. He's so much more switched on than Gilly and he's definitely giving that chase, but it's not frantic. There's no real aggression. I'm cornered here. Go that way, Inda. You're tired now, mate. <laughs> She's over there. She's over there, you lost her. Oh, don't give up so soon, mate. Surely he's not gonna go back and just chill out in here. He, he is too. What are you doing? Lazy bones? But that's good, you know, it's definitely a balance. You want interest, you want a chase, but you also don't want anything too heated. So that was good, I, I reckon, for a first interaction. I mean, he was interested, she was submissive, but you know that there's another few gears there for him to hit, yeah. like when he really yeah. means it. That's what we will want to see at some point. So it's going to be interesting over the next few days to see how his behaviour changes. Naga is one of the last breeding males in the entire country, and we're really on the forefront here. We're pioneering Komodo breeding. So if this doesn't work out, that's it. We can completely kiss goodbye any chance of ever fulfilling dad's dream and having baby Komodos. It's been a couple of weeks since Naga and Inda, the two Komodo dragons, were introduced. So far, we haven't had a lot of progression. They've been interested, no doubt, but they haven't come together quite yet. So we'll just have to try again. Hello, Naga. How you going, buddy? Good, guys? Yeah. Here we go. Hey, Inda. Hey, Inda. Good girl, Inda. Hello, Bindas. He's got flowers and dinner for you this time. With the first meeting, we had a nice, natural chase behaviour, which was really amazing to see. Now, what we want to see is the chase get closer and closer and closer to see that gap start to diminish. Hopefully, is these two actually coming together and actually interacting. Good girl, darling. The way that Komodo dragons court and mate, the female is doing most of the posturing. She'll be getting nice and close to the male, and then what'll happen when they do mate, the male will actually kind of pin the female down. The female lets him get close enough then and only then will it happen. Yeah, he's got sight of her now. He's your boyfriend. Boy. He's keen. He's tongue flicking heaps. He's super interested. Here we go. Straight onto it. It doesn't happen overnight, but this is so good to see. Really, really good. But you've got to keep in mind, Inda's so much quicker than he is. Instantly, you can see that Naga is giving chase, and that's so good to see. He's so much more keen than Gilly, and Inda's really responding to that. She is very excited to see that there's a male that's so interested in her. Hanging out of his cloaca. See that? Yeah. Sperm plug. Sperm plug. Naga had something dangling, and it's obviously a sperm plug. The sperm plug is a small amount of residue that's been sitting right at the, the tip of that conical point of, of his hemipane, which is part of his reproductive system which is a really promising sign. He's obviously really excited by Ender being in the enclosure. You know, it doesn't look so great. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see that. Here we go. He's 
Go there. Yes, that's it, that's it. That's exactly what we were hoping for. They've come together. That's the first time they've actually properly connected. This is awesome. Yes. That's the best we've seen. Yeah. Yeah, that wouldn't have happened with Gilly. This looks so good. How promising is that? That is just remarkable. We are all so excited to see that finally, Naga actually caught up to Inda and we had a successful interaction. This is really, really exciting stuff. But we're not going to stop until we have little baby Komodos. I know it's going to happen. It was Dad's dream and now, finally, it looks like it may be a reality very soon. <laughs>